So if you're a new producer and you're struggling to choose sounds for your beats, then I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how you can be confident in the sounds that you're using for your beats. What's going on? It's KC from kc-sounds.com. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to choose sounds for your beats. So if you're a new producer and you're struggling to choose sounds for your beats, then I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how you can be confident in the sounds that you're using for your beats. Tip one, listen to a lot of music, a lot of beats, a lot of songs in different genres. You can go to somewhere like Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere that's got like a library of genres. Get your phone out, old school, get some a pen and pad, and then just listen to two or three songs from that genre and make a note of what sounds they're using. Are they using plucks? Are they using electric guitars? Are they using pads, acoustic guitar? And then just get an understanding of why that song, or why them sounds make up that genre. And you, you, notice a, you notice a pattern in sounds. For example, the sounds that are used in modern Afro pop today is mostly marimba type sounds. So just listen to the different genres. Once you get an understanding of the different sounds that are used in that genre, then when it comes to you making your beat, you know, like if, if you're making a drill beat or you're making a grind beat, that there's certain sounds that make up that genre. But this doesn't mean you have to stick to them sounds at all. Like you can have a drill beat, but you're using electric guitars in there or you use a Rhodes. And then when you start doing that, you're kind of creating your own sound. If it works, it work. Number two, just develop your ear. It kind of ties into tip one, because if you start using different sounds, say for example, if you've got a drill drum pattern or a gram drum pattern, and then you put in the electric guitars, it, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't sound good to your ear, then don't do it, don't force it. But if it sounds good, why not do that? Step out the box, rules are there to be broken. So if that's what you decide to do for your beat and it sounds good and it works, then run with that because there's no harm in doing that. There's no reason why you can't do that. But by listening and, and appreciating the sounds that are used in these different genres, it will develop your ear so you know whether or not the sounds you're using works for your beat. So this is just a quick video sharing some tips and what's worked for me in the past to learn what sounds to use for what beats i'm making hope this helped you hit me up on instagram if you've got any questions hit me up on instagram i'm always dropping little gems on my story so it's worth checking out if this video has helped at all hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time thank you for watching